the church and we offer our devotion service. Father, we pray, dear Lord, that that will lead us and guide us 
through this devotion of service, dear Lord. Father God, whether, dear Lord, free conference call, whether in-house or whomever, Father God, that someone will say, Lord, I thank you for oh, another day. Father, for we do give you the glory, the honor, and the praise in the most matchless name of Jesus the Christ. We say amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you, uh, uh, At this time, I pray, I thank the Lord for my being here. Sometimes I get a little crisis thing, but I praise God for just being here. And, and I, I tell you that it was nothing that I had did was so great, and I did so good of anything. But as I look back on my life, I've been saying to some of you, I just look how good God has been. Not just like me, but I just look so down about you and see how God has really you. blessed me. Thank you. Even things look down and I don't see my way, I feel God has blessed me because it gives me the opportunity to talk to God. Amen. And see, you've never been down and you never had any trouble with me. You know, go to God with. And I thank God that sometimes I'm down, sometimes even when I'm feeling bad, that I know that I know that there is a God. There's a God. That I call him. Amen. And when he blessed me, even not this is the big thing, but even the little, the little bit of thing, I give him praise and I give him the glory. I try not to wake up. As soon as I see the sun come through the Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. For a new, a new day. Yes. And I, I ask you that little word prayer to continue to pray for me that I will be able to do what the Lord will have me do. I don't have many years in front of me, I have behind me. So I want to make the best of what I got in front of me. And to make my best of I want to make it toward to the Lord. Amen. 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 And you know, and you, and now, now the devotion service is open, open. They you have a song, you have a prayer. Yes, man. Truly, I thank God this morning for my being here. I thank you for the very with devotion, and, and you know, uh, you know, sometimes you say it's difficult to get people up here to help, and what you know, I don't have to do much today, and so it gives me the opportunity to bring myself up to be, to be here, and just to support you can make with this devotion, because uh, it takes, the leader has to step up and lead, and, and, and show, show that it can, can be the need, when we have somebody that asks us for support, we need to step up and give support. Now, I can't, I can't, I think I can sing. I'm not just saying. I think I can sing. So, 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 I think I can sing. I can, go, I can sing. But somebody else might get stuck. Maybe, maybe if I sing enough, maybe somebody else will get up and start singing. Or maybe, or maybe they'll say, well, we're going to wake you out for each day. But nevertheless, I'm just so delighted to be, to be here. So let's put, put our hands together. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord Yeah. Yeah. And he said he was saying, 
I know I can't do it. I sing. Y'all better help me. <laughs> well, I need some help. It's me, it's me, it's me. Me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I'm running out of sauce, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. I'm not my brother, not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. The preacher about the deacon, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's not the preacher nor the deacon, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer.
the tickets are fifty dollars per person, and the food will be catered by Bay Bay's Catering and Dessert by Katie's Confession. Please see Mr. Howard. St. John Missionary Baptist Church in Falkland is having their church anniversary and homecoming anniversary celebration on October 15th. They will celebrate their church anniversary at 11 a.m. and homecoming at 3 p.m. Dinner will be served. Dinner will be served between services. In addition to the sick list is Sister Laura Willoughby and all other names are on Just in time. Yes. Good morning again. Good morning. I'm just able to grace and mercy and all that the Lord has allowed us to do. I'm excited today. Uh, there's an air of excitement with me. There's an air of excitement in the building. There's an air of excitement in the community. Yeah. Because we are thankful for what God is about to do. Yeah. And we just want to remind you, those church members, that as we look here, be reminded on the third Sunday, the third Sunday, Monday after the third Sunday, we will start our first phase of our renovation. So we are looking forward to it. Give God a hand. That's the uh, different interior, well, from the uh, roof line at least, as we begin to work together to improve uh, our sanctuary. And we thank God for His grace and His mercy. With that being said, uh, members, on Saturday, November the 4th, Saturday, November the 4th, we will have a uh, church fellowship day beginning at 10 a.m. So this will give you the opportunity to come in and to view, to view the, the renovations that are being done. So when you come in on the Sunday morning, November the 5th, you won't be in such awe that you'll be able to listen to the word. Pastor uh, uh, we'll have our business meeting shortly thereafter at a, at a fellowship uh, uh, meal uh, shortly after that. So we'll, I'm excited. I'm excited already. I pray that you will get excited because this is a long time coming. But God is blessing us to be able to move forward. We're taking a step at a time, but God is opening the door. So we will I'm thankful for that as we uh, participated in their revival, women's ministry uh, uh, on the 14th, and the men are getting together, they want to do something to let these women know that they are not going to outdo them, so we need just to come together because we thank God for all that he has done. I'm so delighted this morning to have... Uh, Chris Chapel with us this morning, and the pastor's faith with us, the choir with us. We thank you for the ushers standing at the door. We're just thankful for everybody that's participated on this program today. Right here, um, one of the early boys. Amen. 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 Uh, are there any other announcements that last opportunity to make those announcements? God bless you. God bless you. At this time, we're going to have our welcome by Sister Janice Bill. Because that's what we all come here for. And I pray that you take it and you run with that all week long. Put on your spiritual running shoes. And I got on mine now because I want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to let's. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Bailey, for that welcome.
Heavenly Father, we come to you just to say you thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for the ushers, oh, God, who will usher in your congregation, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you for the choir who will sing your songs of Zion. Oh, God, we thank you for the man of God who will bring forth your word. Oh, God, for that, God, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for those that are in the congregation, oh, God. God, we thank you for those that are on free conference call. Oh, God, we thank you that we all come with our hearts open, oh, God, to receive your word, oh, God, so that we can apply it, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you for all that you've done, oh, God. We thank you for all that you're going to do, oh, God. Oh, God, and if you don't do anything else, oh, God, you've already done enough, oh, God. Oh, God, and for that, God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, God, and if there's any amongst us, oh, God, that is not saved, oh, God, that by the end of this service, oh, God, they will accept you as their Lord and Savior, oh, God. And for that, God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
there's anyone among you suffering, let him pray. If anything is anyone cheerful, let him sing song. Is anyone among you sick, let him call for the elders of the church mm -hmm. and let them pray over him, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Confess your trespasses to one another mm -hmm. and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effect, favorite prayer of a righteous man will be a much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced a fruit. Burden, if anyone among you one from the truth, and someone turn him back, let him know that he who turned a sinner from the arrow of his way to save a soul from death and for a multitude of sins. Amen. Amen.
this morning I barely could breathe, but I said, God, I'm going to press my way because I needed him to stop through here for a little while. Oh, I have been missing him for quite some time, but I know who I can go to. When I can't go to nobody else, I can go to my father. And for that right there is why I praise him like I do. This time I read the book, book of James. If anyone is afflicted among you, oh baby, I was afflicted, pain everywhere. But I told God, I said, I'm pressing my way through. I'm going to go out. I'm going to give you the praise. Oh, but the enemy thought that he had me. I had to get my asthma pump this morning. I said, oh, but I know who I serve. I said, I'm going on. I'm going to press my way through. Even if I can't pray for myself. If I get to the building, if I get to the house, somebody can pray for me. It's somebody beside you right now, probably in pain. They just need you to tell them it's going to be all right. Oh, I just come to give God some praise and glory. When we reflect that, we're going to get some testimonies. And I tell you, just knowing who you serve and knowing who you are in him. Mm. We're going to try to follow pro program, but sometimes program is subject to change. When the spirit comes in, the program will change. But we're going to have our testimony by Sister Connie Purrington. Often it's only been taken by a physician during a 
PSA, blood test, brief questionnaire, and hope for information about prostate health. According to the American Council Society, strengths are recommended for all men age 50 and over. If you have a high risk factor, such as being African American, a family history of prostate cancer, you should be screened and to register call 252-641-8701. The date is served October 7, 2023, 9 to 10 a.m. East Eagle Health Mother Special, Clinic Tarver 101, Clinical Drive Tarver. To qualify for this free screening, you must be between 45 and 65 years of age and without access to a primary care provider. Okay, um, I am happy to say that I am five years and a survivor for breast cancer. Yeah. It was not an easy task, believe me. When they told me at first that I had, of course, I fell to pieces. I had my granddaughter with me. Where she grew Close the lab down with my doctors because they don't have radiation at all. They don't have chemo. They will, they will give you gas cars, which they did for me. And I can say today that I had some of the best support in my life. Amen. If I don't have no more, they was there for me. Amen. From my family, from my friends. And two months later, I was back in there again. He said, me and Tim, you back here again? <laughs> what you here for this time? And which he already knew. But it's a disease that it scares you at first. And if you don't know that much about it, you continue to be scared by having I had a friend, Dr. Knight. She helped support me. Amen. When I would wake up at night needed to talk to somebody, I always could call her Amen. and talk to her because she had been through so much her own sick. And I'm blessed for having her in my life. Amen. And it's, it's a disease that until you know what point or what stage that you are in, it's really going to scare you. But I was blessed that I was had on a peace side. And it was a stage one. And they were able to go in and take it out. So at this time, I'm going left in my right breast, which I'm saying to myself, it ain't nothing. It's not nothing. But I hope what I have said today will help someone and touch someone. And like I said, go be strength for men and women. Thank you. Amen. If we have any other survivors in the house, would you please stay up? That lets us know that God is good. Yes, yes. Like she said, you may be scared. When we hear the C word, the cancer, we get scared. That's how our, our, our natural side is. But then we know who we serve. Amen. We know who we can take that problem to. And sometimes he heals us here. And I have to be honest. Sometimes he gives us a complete healing. And he takes us home. But no matter how we do it, it's his will that has been done. And for that, we just get up. We're gonna go into we're gonna ask our pastor to do our church covenant. Um Amen. Amen. Church Amen. Amen. Before we get into the church covenant, I feel very appropriate, uh, particularly 
since uh, Sister Eaton uh, is not here. I just uh, I've seen people in the hospital with cancer, but I've never really had conversations with people that was dealing with cancer. But when I came to Anderson Chapel, this and acknowledge and has to say it's not working. Because I did not know that some eight years later the child led me to say all right. Those that endure I may not have had the joy that I had going through my process journey. Because knowing that no matter what happened, the military seven I just didn't like the military. I just had this thought that if I went away in the military, I will I will only way I will come back with boots up. That the same God that protected me on these US soldiers, he would have protected me in Europe, in Pride, or wherever else I may have landed my feet. Why? Because I'm in the hands of God. Yes. Yes. Brother Wooten, we're in the hands of God. No matter what we're going through, yes. whether it's cancer, yeah. heart problems, yeah. high blood, yeah. diabetes, yeah. relationship problems, yeah. financial problems, yes. we're in the hands of God. Yes. I right. had a couple of colleagues last night talk to me. They wanted some, they, they're trying to get some financial advice. I told them, I said, you know, I, I, I still tell people now, when you're dealing with the stock market, you've got to understand when the market drop to less, yeah. even when people talk about it, yeah. yeah. you can't change what they say about it. That's right. But all you can do, yeah. I told them last year, I didn't know how sick I was over the past couple of months until so I got better. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know how sick you are sometimes. Yeah. 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 Do you feel yeah. better? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the pen I feel like right now, I can just float. Because yeah. right. I'm in the hands of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 That wasn't on the program. But that's what God would have us. Yeah. Yeah. So just so sure you know that God is washing over. Yeah. 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 The church covenant. Thank you. The church covenant. The church covenant of the Baptist church, uh, those of you that have similar covenants, and you align with your belief, God is good. Yeah. Yeah. Whether I praise him or not, somebody's going to praise him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Think of the goodness of Jesus. Yeah. And all! Than my my father, my uncle, than my aunts, and all make I make more money in a month than they made in a year. But what common experience do we enter into spiritual fellowship and covenant relations with one another? Entrust to us. 
to contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. What gracious task do we humbly assume? We also engage to maintain family and secret devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and our family. To what manner of life the conversations are resolvably pledged? To walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagements, and exemplary in our accord, to avoid all tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger, to abstain from the sale and use of intoxicating drinks as a beverage, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. Since one is our ambassador, even Christ, and we are all brethren, by what fraternal ministries are we to strengthen each other and adorn the teaching of our Lord and Savior? We further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy in feeling and courtesy in speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior to secure it without delay. What is our agreement when we move from this community? We want to engage that when we move from this place, we will, as soon as possible, unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. I just really want to center in Tarboro. And what I want to put out here for everyone, check on your loved ones. Um, I have some people like um, they said earlier, where when I call them, I can't even use the word cancer. Um, they don't they don't want to hear that word. And it's hard for me um, when people come in and people don't have a support. People don't have nobody they can cry to, they can run to. And believe me, every day, it's almost seemed like somebody's going on hospice. Recently, we've had three patients that um, have passed away um, that used to come to the cancer center. So I'm begging you, if you got a loved one you haven't seen in a while, yes. if they don't want you to know in their business, check on them. Their health. Because yes. um, we have one patient. Um, whether you have insurance or not, go. Yes. Yes. But one patient had insurance, her daughter had been checking on her, and I'm not trying to brush y'all out, but she had a hole in the side of her breast, open, green, breast cancer. And sometimes when you come, it's too late. You know, there's nothing a doctor can do for you. I had a young man I went to school with. Um, I heard yesterday that he passed away. He had lung cancer. Um, there's pancreatic cancer. There's liver cancer. And um, depending upon what type of cancer it is, as to how it spreads over your body. Yes. When you find out, be vigilant. Help drive your health to help your loved one. Yes. Go and make sure that they understand yes. what is being relayed to them. Yes. But you know, it gets so bad sometimes. I go out in the lobby and I pray with the loved ones. Yes. Because I've heard a lot of people say, what am I going to do now? Jesus. And I tell them, God got you. I said, God, don't make no mistakes. Yes. So I'm just telling you, check on your little one. People you ain't heard from in a long time, people, houses you ain't been by, just drive Amen. by. Amen. Check Amen. on them. Because cancer is a dangerous thing. But like they said, turn it over to God. Amen. And he going to work it out. Amen. But you got to make some steps yourself. Amen. That's right. So check on your little ones. I'm asking all of y'all that. Just check on your little ones. Amen. And I appreciate you listening to me. Amen. Thank you for looking around. I had a tie and all the way trying to figure out where I'm listening. But anyway, uh, I, I rise to ask you as we come for the, the offering here as uh, Trustee Pemmon and the Jones and uh, assisted him come uh, today. Please consider, I know some of you may have, uh, you may have written a check or maybe giving cash, but whatever you, if you have an envelope, Grab an envelope, 
if it's 5, 10, 25, 40 over here, it would be a, just something in that envelope that's designated for the cancer uh, support group in the group in Winston County. Uh, uh, Sister Puritan mentioned earlier that they gave her $25 gift card, gas card, so that they would be able to go to, she could be able to go to uh, uh, Rocky Mountain and to relieve. Let us, let us support this group. Because as, as I said before, you know, I'm thankful, I'm, 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 I'm very thankful that the Lord blessed, blessed me that I didn't have to worry about those costs and those situations. But there are those who Many times they just don't go to doctors because of cost. So the Lord has blessed us to be a blessing to somebody else. And if you are able, if you are able to put a little something extra in that envelope, designated for uh, what's the name? Of, do you know the name of that group? Uh, no, I don't know. Right. Just designated for the Council Society for Edgecombe County. Okay, and the uh, church, the, the church will be sure to forward them a check from. Uh, from Anderson Chapel to your gift. Amen. I'm sad to say that uh, as a navigator in Edgecombe County, Dr. Petrozelli and his wife started an organization. And if you qualify for, they would give you a thousand dollars offhand with your medicine and your I'm sorry, I was letting her know um, because that comes through there that there are no funds. So if you do so get it, it would greatly help. Um, if they have to be an active um, chemotherapy. Yeah, they have to be an active chemo and, uh, chemo and, and radiation. And I was able to get, get it for radiation. And I was able to get it for my sister in law when she was going through her uh, cancer treatments and stuff. But it really come in good to get your medicine. If you don't have medicine, that you can get free without paying for it. It really, and then the navigator will also help you in other situations that you come in, like need medicine, depression. I went in a, a state of depression. They had, to, they had to put me on medication, but it's not at the point where I want to commit suicide, just that I cried all the time. And they made sure that I got that medication. And I can say, thanks to God, I was able to get through it. And I'm here today. Amen. Amen. I'll, I'll leave you alone after a while. Thank you. Uh, the, also, if you are here and those that may be listening, uh, if, you, if you would like to, if you don't have anything extra today and you'd like to give, you may uh, search uh, Anderson Chapel, um, give a five, and uh, just make a note there for council support. All right, now I've been told that we're going to uh, come around and that we're going to walk around, right? You've been told, somebody told you. We're going to walk around, okay. So, uh, you know, we, we, okay. Either side will be for
don't want to make nobody to be a man in the house of God. But if you really feel good, why don't you put your left hand together get down to the Let the Lord be with you tonight. Why don't you stand to your feet and give God some praise in the house? Chaplain, man, but it's good to know that somebody else still believes in 
testimony. We don't realize how important, amen, our testimonies are, amen, to help empower somebody else. Amen, somebody. See, sometimes people don't, don't know what it is to go through certain things, amen, but if they can hear somebody who's already been there and done that, oh, I wish I had some judgment here. Amen. If they can find somebody who's worked in that situation, amen, and helping people, amen, holding their hands and, and praying for them every now and then. Amen. And he is the um, hope. You see, Dr. Lewis, I man, I remember the time where a lot of us right. wouldn't even bother going to a doctor. Right. Amen, somebody. Yeah. We wouldn't even take the time to go to a doctor. Whether we had the money or didn't have the money, a lot of us, especially black men, amen, wouldn't even take the time to go and see a doctor. That's right. Our hands. Amen. To, to get those those yearly and, 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 and checkups and all of these things, amen. Because we, we didn't realize and understand, like my daddy did, we didn't realize and understand that sometimes if you can die those things up, yeah, that's right. you have a better chance yeah, that's right. of dealing with it. Do I have any help in here? Yeah. Amen. That's why I encourage us, amen, to go to your doctor, to get your yearly Check up, amen, and, and, and I encourage the church, amen, those that have been through some things, we need to put shame out the door and learn to share our souls. Yeah. Amen. We don't want nobody to know that we're dealing with this. We don't want nobody to know we're dealing with breast cancer and prostate cancer and, and this cancer. Why? Because we're here to talk. Oh, they got cancer. Must have been something wrong. Why they sick, amen. They look at all holy every Sunday and that now he's sick with cancer and must have We gotta hear all the talks and the comments. We don't want to hear all that, so we keep out our little problems. Oh, help me here. Hey man, hey man, we need to know where our help comes from. Hey I would ask the same question. What did he do? What did his mom and daddy do? That he was born this way. Amen. But I heard the Lord say, Neither his mother or daddy do anything. But the power of God, good God of mine, might be revealed. Do I have any help in here? Amen. Truly, we tell God. Thank you, amen. We're going to. Amen. At this time, amen. Thus did the Lord turn in to the book of St. Obedience this morning. Amen. And we're going to go down to the 19th verse. I was, uh, there was a particular passage of scripture that I was asked to reflect on. That I may be Amen. Amen. We're going to read two different passages of scripture. We're going to start at, at, at St. Luke, the sixth chapter. And and we're going to start at the 17th verse. And it reads, And he came down with them and stood in the plain uh, and and the company of the disciples. And a great multitude of people out of Judea and Jerusalem and, and from the sea and coast of Tyre and stood on, and which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. Come on, help me somebody. And the 19th verse, and the whole multitude to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and healed. Yes. Come on, get some money. Come on now. Come on now. Yes. now let us go over to Third John, the first chapter and the second verse. Third John. First chapter and the second verse. And it reads, Beloved, I wish 
above all things. That thou was made prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Letting of our praise, our Father and our God. Lord, it's again and one more time that you've allowed us, O oh God, to gather here in this place. God, we thank you for all the songs that go forth. We thank you for the prayers that have gone forth. We thank you, God, even for the testimonies that have gone forth. But right now, God, we're ready to hear from heaven. And we pray, God, that you will send forth thy word. Lord, as your word come up in our ears, our hearts, our minds, give us understanding, knowledge, and wisdom. That we shall be better men, women, boys, and girls. Yes. Oh God, that your name shall be glorified. Amen. Your the enemy shall be horrified. Yes. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Put our blessed hands together and celebrate this choir and musician. <laughs> and we are honored and grateful, man, even though we've been invited, we are honored, man, and grateful for. Uh, our dear friend, Pastor Lewis, amen, for extending us the opportunity, amen, to, to teach and preach you from this pulpit, amen. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. The title was simply, man, we just want to reflect what was on the program that was given to me. There is healing in the Word. Yeah. Dr. Lewis asked you the last time I was here, amen, do you trust God? I'm going to ask you the same question today, do you trust God? Can thou believe on the Word of God? Why? Because there is healing in the Word. Wow. Yesterday I had the opportunity, man, I spent most of the day in the park. Praying for the sick and those that were troubled in spirit. Wow. Amen, somebody. Amen. I would not lie to you that the flesh does get tired. Sometimes. Amen. Amen. But yet there's still a call on my life. Amen. Amen. And somewhere in the word of God it tells you we got to get out of the church. Yeah. Right. Get into the hedges That's right. and the highways. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because everybody ain't coming. Yeah. Yeah. To the right. yeah. That's right. Sometimes we're the only church that some people going to see. But sometimes they ain't going to see us if we always stuck in the building. Amen, somebody. I tell God, thank you. Amen. As I witnessed people on yesterday, amen, being healed and delivered. Amen, somebody. Amen. But on this day, Ah, uh, stop by to tell somebody that there is healing in the Word. Well, How many know the blood still works? Yeah. Amen. But before uh, I go too far into the message, amen, there's something that the Spirit was speaking to me a few moments ago. <laughs> amen. And it took me back to uh, the third John, the third writing of John. It said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. And I got to thinking about that thing, and man, I said, okay, God, speak to me. Amen. And one thing that I realize is that we learn how to church. Help me, Holy Ghost. I said, we learn how to church real good. What are you talking about preaching? We learn how to put on the look. We learn how to dress like church folk. We learn how to do the one finger tiptoe like church folk. Like church folk. 
We learn how to smile, continue to fail in if we don't learn how to eat healthy like God. Some of us are going to church and church all day long. And then leave church and go put something in our body that we ain't supposed to have. I said this at Chris Chapel, and I said it right here at Edison Chapel. Your medication does not give you the right to eat unhealthy. Your blood pressure medication does not give you the right to go eat food that you have no business putting your body and talking about. Well, I can just take my medicine later on. Your heart medication does not give you the right to go eat a whole lot of fat and pork and then feel like I can just take the medicine the doctor gave me and I feel all right. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be in health, good health. How you gonna be in good health? You gotta learn how to eat healthy. Am I right about it, somebody? Amen. I even told I had to go to after the after the, the, the thing in the park. Amen. I was invited to a birthday dinner in Wake Forest last night. We didn't get home until late last night, but while I was at the birthday party, Amen. They asked if they wanted anything to eat. Amen. I said, Yeah, I want some food over there. All the fried chicken, all the fried food, all that was looking good, but I couldn't mess with it. I said, Give me some food over there. And my wife got a salad. Amen, somebody. Amen. Why? Because I know I had to get up and do some work this morning. Right. And I didn't want to be feeling mad, amen. I didn't want to have to feel my body with dedication to feel like I feel somebody. Yeah. Amen, somebody. So I had to learn how to eat him. Went to a Cynthia's birthday party. I know you didn't sell it, but it's going to it in the morning. Why? Because so many salads you get from the store is filled with salt and everything else. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. So I had to learn to eat my salad, amen, without the salad dressing. Because they won't eat the salad, they have to go take some blood pressure medicines. They go. Amen. I didn't just want to look like church. Amen. When I get to church, I want to feel good. On the inside. I'm going to make some, some bacon and some bacon. Hey, what's the medication to get me ready to go to sleep? I know y'all didn't like that, but that's all right. I wish above all that you might as prosperous and be in good health. Amen. Even as your soul prospers. Amen. It's good, amen, to look holy. Amen. It's good, amen, to act like we holy. Amen. But it ain't good when your body feels good. Father, do you, amen? We was on that cruise ship, amen. We've been on a cruise ship before, amen, but the cruise ship is sneaky. <laughs> they give you all this free food, and 90% of it is unhealthy. Well, amen, somebody. Amen. Temptation is real. Good God Almighty. I said, Temptation is real, somebody. Amen. Oh, this free food? Yes. Buffet, home of this church is? Amen, somebody. Amen. Burgers and steaks and fried this and fried that. Amen. And dirty dirt as high as you can see them. Amen. Amen. But I had to learn how to resist. All right. All right. Ah, do I have any help in here? Why? Yeah. Ah, because I want to be a good help. Yeah. Amen. So I, I don't been through the songs of life. Yeah. Amen. I want to learn how to be a good help. Yeah. Amen. I heard all the testimonies. I want to stop. I need to put my pen for just a moment. Yeah. I heard Dr. Lewis. Pastor Lewis. He said before he got to Anderson Chapel and, and having prayer calls, and because of that, I realized that years later he was going to have cancer in his own body. Well, but because he had been around us, been around some people well, that had cancer, amen, and yeah. encouraged him and they inspired him, amen, yeah. when it attacked his body, well, he had some comfort. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. He has some confidence. Yeah. Amen. He got know what he's talking about. Yeah. Amen. Because before uh, 2013, yeah. amen, stroke and animal is one of the words to me. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and I knew somebody at my church, amen, that, that had a stroke. 
Amen. When my body was attacked with the pedestal, I did it too. Amen. Then I can make it. Amen, somebody. I tell God, thank you. Amen. Even for the living at times. Amen. But somebody tell somebody. Amen. That there is healing in the word. Do I have any help in here? Amen. Now in our scripture lesson. Amen. St. Luke the 6th chapter. And the 19th verse. Amen. We're going to look at the 18th verse. And it says, all those that were vexed with unclean spirits. And they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him. For there went virtue out of him and healed them all. Somebody said there's, there's healing in the word. But can I take my time here? Before all of this virtue without Jesus. Before all of this healing yeah. took place, well, there's something we got to go back and remember. Yeah. Before all of this laying on of hands was able to manifest itself. Wow. Hey Amen. There's something very important that we have to remember about Jesus. That is a reflection on our own lives. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me good? And that is, if you go back to the 12th verse. Amen. In the 12th verse, it says, And it came to pass in those days that Jesus went out into the mountainside to pray. And he continued in prayer all night long. Say, so God, I'm getting ready to get out of your way. Amen. But before the first you could flow out of him, the Spirit of God had to flow in him. Do I have any help in here? I stopped by to tell somebody. Amen. Yeah, there's healing in the Word. But if somebody tell you, we must learn how to lay down before the Lord. <laughs> we must learn how to spend some time with God. <laughs> we must learn how to set aside our situation, <laughs> our problems, <laughs> and lay down before holy God. <laughs> we must learn how to let go of our own self, <laughs> our own conscience, <laughs> our own thinking. Huh? And say, God, here is my. Huh? You know what I need, God. Huh? Lord, I need you huh? to impart into me huh? the power of the Holy Ghost. Huh? Somebody shout, yeah. Huh? And tell them, oh, thank you. Huh? I got to get out of here. Huh? But I'm somebody to tell somebody. Huh? If you want to see the manifestation huh? of the Word of God, huh? of the power of God, huh? you got to learn how huh? to lay down huh? before God. Huh? Yeah, I don't know, thank you. I heard 
Mark did and straight away he told his Bible to into a ship while he went into the mountain to pray to the Father throwing it down yeah and the Bible for his day go to your secret closet and call on the name of the Lord somebody say yeah and the Lord thank you The other disciples, the other folks, they took Jesus, the leaders of the 
of Jesus was back to a third pile around Abraham. But John, he took it back a little further. He said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. There's healing in the Word. Somebody shout, yeah, and so before the Lord, you can rise up with power from on high and talk to your situation and tell your pastor, tell your high blood pressure, tell your heart to be. And I am, I am the Lord, 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 I am I laid there and rested, and I prayed. 
I just prayed some healing. Mm. What else was I going to be? I prayed for God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. I had already spoke my healing before I went in there. Yeah. Right. I prayed to God to work my steps. I didn't pray to God to heal me while I was like, God, give me this girl, God, give me this animal, God, give me this, give me, give me that. Oh, God, give me this, give me. I didn't pray that. Man. I said, okay, God, now that I'm resting, order my sins. So that when you raise me up, yeah. what do you want me to do? Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. I knew that my body needed rest. And this is your say, to God. Your body gonna get this over your left. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it intentionally. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So it's gonna do it for you. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Now let me say this before we close. I don't want anybody to be ignorant of what I'm saying. God is a healer. Yeah. And there is healing in the word of God. Yeah. In the word. But all healing ain't the same. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. All healing ain't the same. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that Paul prayed. Paul had a thorn in his flesh. Mm -hmm. And thrice he sought the Lord. Yeah. Lord, remove this thorn. Yeah. Remove this pain, God. Remove this sickness, God. Remove this heart, God. Amen. And all God replied with was, my grace. <laughs> Holy Ghost, help me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we may have some things from afflictions in our body. Amen. Amen. But we trust God. Yes, yes. God will allow that affliction to stop us. Yes, but He will use it yes, to help us. Yes, to help somebody else. Yes, Amen. Somebody. Yes. Somebody needs to know that it can be a cancer survivor. Yes, but somebody needs to know, Amen, that they still have cancer. They still going on. Yes, somebody needs to know that yeah, God can heal you of a stroke. But somebody needs to know they're still affected by this stuff, but it's still going on. Yeah. Yeah. My grace is sufficient. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. All really don't come to the same. Yeah. But one thing that must be happening, must happen, we must learn how to slow down. Yeah. Take care of our bodies. Yeah. Eat the right things. Right. Amen. I, I hear people all the time talk about mama had cancer, daddy had cancer, daddy this and mama this and, and they all ate this and they all ate that, amen. But if you already know that they had it, they, and they ate this food that caused it or led to it, why are you doing it? Amen. 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 My family love pork and barbecue. Since I've had a stroke, I haven't had any more pork barbecue. Yeah, yeah. Amen. amen. Do I still desire? Yeah, I still desire, but I don't know how to resist it. Hey, but there's a whole lot of things I desire that I have to learn how to resist. Hey, Amen, somebody. Yeah. Oh, it be smelling good. Yeah. Hey, Amen. But I had to learn how to resist. Just like I did when I was out there in the hedge in the streets, hey, amen. Around the, the alcohol and the smoke and all of this other stuff, hey, amen. When I got tired of it, I had to learn how to. Oh, he, he, he's a preacher. He's saved. He's sanctified. He's with the Holy Ghost. But Pastor Lewis, back out of the room. I had a nasty mouth. Amen, somebody. A nasty mouth. Amen. I told uh, my trustee there. I said I was so nasty about that man that I didn't have to fight some people. I was cussing out so bad, they were they would start crying. And leave me alone. Amen. 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 But with God, it's different. Amen. But he didn't take those words out of my mouth. Because when people cross me wrong, I still want to tell them something. But I had to learn how to. Resist. Yes. Right. Right. I ain't forgot where I came from. I ain't forgot what I used to say. But I had to learn how to. Resist. Resist. The temptation. To tell somebody about themselves. Especially you got folk around you trying to boost you up. Yeah. Amen. Oh, man, I wouldn't take that man. I wouldn't, you wouldn't take, I wouldn't take that man. But I had to learn how to resist. Just like I had to learn how to resist certain foods. And God knows Chris Chapel got some good cooks. You can't even preach sometimes. The smell coming from the kitchen. But I 
had to learn how to resist some things. Amen, somebody. Amen. To be in good health. Yeah. Then, after I learned how to resist, I had to learn how to lay before the Lord. Yeah. Amen. There's a song they sing at Chris Chapel, Give Me You, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Give me you, Lord. Yeah. Everything else yeah. can wait. Yeah. The children can wait. Yeah. The grandkids can wait. The wife can wait. The church can wait. Yeah. Give me you, Lord. Then if I got God, yeah. then I can go and deal with these other situations. Right. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. There is healing in the Word. Yeah. But we must learn how to submit to the Word. Right. And then may God bless you and may heaven. Amen. 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 Amen.
Also the chief priests mocked him. With the scribes and the elders said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now. If he will have him, for he said, I am the son of God. That these also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. Now, if thou be the son of God, you saved others. Save yourself. They not know it by him holding on to that cross. <laughs> he saved the greatest multitude that's ever been saved. He did this for us. He suffered and died for my sin and your sin. The Savior of the world, God's own Son. He stayed on the cross. He endured the suffering, pain, and shame of the cross because we were sinners and needed sin. Paul said in his writing that when we come at this table, it's not to fill yourself with the food, but it's to be reminded of Jesus, how he suffered and died on the cross. Paul says, dangerous to partake of this unworthily, but it's also dangerous not to partake of it. Paul simply put it, just said, you ought to live something. That you are able to commemorate and remember what Jesus has done. Jesus. Because he didn't have to do it. But he did. Amen. Father, if it be thy will, remove this bitter cup. Jesus. He asked. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Being submissive to the Father, he died. Deacon May is going to offer a prayer. If there is who have offered against your brother and sister, take it to the Father. Life is too short not to release those burdens. Life is too short. To gamble that you have tomorrow. But give it to God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Father God, yeah. we come, Father God, Lord, and I'm going to see your power. We come, Father God, thank you for this most sacred moment to share in this holy community. Now, Father God, we realize that we're too weak to change what you keep. Yes, Lord. But before then, Father God, we ask right now. And we take partake in this service. We ask you, Father God, not that we not search for one another. But look at ourselves, look at ourselves. And Father God, if you find anything wrong, we ask you, Father God, forgive us right now. That we might be partaking that what we do, we don't eat and drink down that to our soul. And let that Father God we ask you change this bread, this wine from the physical to the spirit. That it won't be condemnation. As we prepare, please be reminded that this is for those who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you have not accepted Him as Lord and Savior, please let the plate pass. But Jesus. He met with the disciples. He took the bread and he blessed it. And the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I know it was the blood.
Jesus met with his disciples in the upper room, and he took the bread and break it and blessed them and gave to the disciples and said, This is my body, which is given to you. Eat and eat all of it. And he blessed a cup of the wine and gave to his disciples and said, Drink and eat all of it. Say, I'm no more drink of the fruit of the vine until I drink of the new with you and my father's kingdom. As often, as often as you do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering until he shall come again. As often as we do this, whenever this is done, this is to, to commemorate Jesus' death and suffering, how he suffered and died on the cross for us. He died for our sin. But the glorious news is he rose again on the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he got up, we have a right to the tree of life. After they had died, they sang a hymn and they went out to the Mount of Olives. We do not have the Mount of Olives to go out at you, but we do have our highways, our homes, our, our business, our, wherever we go. We can share the goodness, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let us learn to share the gospel and not the gospel. Amen. And if we can share the word of God, yes. there's healing yes. in the word of God. Yes. 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 Come on, why can have a closing selection? Feel my passion.